Hey guys, we're back in the lab. We've got another box in, and this one, as you can tell, is from our friends over at IOSafe. Now, it's been a couple of years since we've looked at an IOSafe product, and back then it was a Synology NAS, where they had taken a small NAS, jammed it inside their fireproof and waterproof case, sealed it up, and gave businesses the opportunity to have the NAS features in a product that was highly secure from disaster, uh, which is what IOSafe's all about. So I'm not even exactly sure what we've got going on here. This is something Adam had delivered for us. I'm gonna go ahead and open them up, see what we've got going on in here. Uh, now everything with IO safe is heavy. That's one thing because the case is steel. Uh, there's this guy, the accessory box because it needs to be secure to hold up to the conditions of fire, water, and other things that they protect against. All right, so this is their duo. It's a direct attached unit that supports two SATA drives inside. And it's heavy, but you never really know with them if it's heavy because of the case or if there are drives inside. We've got the accessories. We've got a quick start guide, which uh, Kevin probably won't read. Oh, and we got a little note from Chris. Thanks for reviewing our new IOSafe Duo. Look at that, nice little note from, from our buddy over at, uh, at, at Crew. So let's take a look at uh, this system a little bit closer and show you what's inside. We've popped up the device here on the table and come in for a tighter look just so we can get a better feel for the components on this system. Of course, you can see the big power fan on the back, power supply adapter, and a single USB-C port on the back. Under this little flappy guy here, there's a uh, area to put a jumper that would be able to edit the RAID setting on it. Now, IOSafe sends these duos out in RAID 1 by default, so if you buy it with hard drives, it comes in RAID 1. You can buy it bare, but they do sell a number of hard drive configurations. Uh, but it also supports RAID 0, JBOD, and SPAN if you're so inclined. For the purposes of this system though, RAID 1 makes a lot of sense because you want the data protected as best you can. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it around. You notice it has a nice flame on the side, which is kind of cool. And as we look at the front, We've got the branding. It's a little harder to see underneath but there, but there's the, uh, even the power button is a little fire flame guy, which is pretty cool. We've got two indicators for the discs. We've got another USB-C port on the front and then a typical USB-A port for connectivity to the system. Now they include this nice little tool. So while Kevin was off hunting for a tool to open this system, I noticed this was in the accessory bin. So we'll go ahead and open this up to get a better look at what's inside. And the screws stay with the cover, which is pretty nice. So that's one less thing to, to lose as we contemplate taking this apart. Actually, even the door is heavy. It's held, it's got its uh, fire protection on here. It's held on there with magnets too, which is pretty neat. And then inside, look at that, we've got a little bank vault guy with uh, some indicators for disc one and two, so you can keep track of those. Let's pull in just a little tighter still and open this up and see what's inside. So using the same tool, we'll go ahead and pop open the bank vault door, see what's inside. Now we've talked a lot about what it means to be fireproof and waterproof. And in the world of IOSafe, what they mean on fire is that it can sustain 1550 degree temperatures for 30 minutes. And that's a uh, ASTM E119 spec. In terms of water, what that means is a 72 hour submersion, 10 feet deep in fresh or salt water. So three days of, of water protection, that's IP68 on that spec. So we've loosened up these caddies. Let's see what we've got inside. All right, so we've got four terabyte Seagate Barracudas, which is nice because that'll give you a good performance profile as far as hard drives go. Oh, didn't quite loosen that guy all the way, here we go. The other one, of course, is a matching drive. 
But now we can peer inside and get a better look of everything in there from the circuit board to the uh, fireproof uh, protection around the edges there. Probably caulking is not quite the right word for it, but a material that's suited for that job. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and put the system back together, get it fired up, and show you what it looks like in a RAID 1 performance. As part of our review process, the first thing we'll do is connect the uh, Duo to a current generation MacBook Air over USB-C. This is a simple Blackmagic test designed to just show basic write and read performance. We'll run that here in a second. The other thing I just wanted to show you is that if we go to select target drive, that'll open up Finder. And we can see down here, we've got the IO safe, we've got a uh, Samsung T5 SSD plugged into the USB-C port on the front and then we also put a uh, LaCie SSD also plugged into the front uh, via the USB-A uh, port. We ran a little bit of testing on those just to make sure they worked and passed through as we would expect over the single line into the computer and uh, everything went fine so uh, just a quick validation there. As we go ahead and select the IOSafe Duo We'll go ahead and run a, uh, a couple cycles of this test. Now it should come out somewhere around 180 read, 180 write, but we'll, we'll see. That's typically what we would expect for a RAID 1 pair of the Barracuda hard drives. Again, those are the four terabyte Seagate Barracudas inside. And we've made one cycle, and it'll go a couple more times just to see what we can get. Now once we're done with this, we'll go ahead and connect it up to a PC and Kevin will run our uh, additional testing there for Windows-based environments. And we'll fold that into the final review on storagereview.com that Adam's working on. Uh, so if you want a deeper dive or more perspective on capabilities and functionality of the IOSafe Duo, you can get that in our full review. For now though, we'll let this go a couple more times and uh, just a reminder that for environments that want this extra layer of security, physical security, protection from fire, uh, from water, either if you're on the coast in an area that could flood or even if you're putting this somewhere in a lower level, a basement where the building could get both. It could be caught on fire and then be underwater as the fire department puts the fire out. Something like this just gives you that additional physical security that, uh, that most other devices can't offer. And if you use it as an off-site backup for you know, maybe at the office you've got a small NAS or a system that you can back up to the IOSafe, take that off-site. If you're a small org, you put it in your home or you take it, put it uh, uh, somewhere else where it's secure. Uh, you know, that's, there's a lot of flexibility in a unit like this. Now, you don't necessarily want to lug it around all the time. It is heavy. Um, as noted, but overall it's a, a great little system and, and uh, gives you additional peace of mind. And of course, if something happens, if you need recovery services, IOSafe has got you there too. They've got a two-year warranty out of the gate, and you can extend that uh, as, as part of their services offering. So that's it for now. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up with storage review and everything we're doing on YouTube. And uh, until next time, thanks and goodbye.